brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Those tourists spend money in the hotels, they spend money in restaurants, and if the businesses are not getting that revenue, you know, they don't have anything to pay their employees with, and that's the reality. And so, you know, we're really um, concerned about the folks um, that are having their hours reduced. We're concerned that it could, as, as things worsen, um, lead to layoffs. And, you know, that's what we're really trying to avoid. And the pain says Baleto has already started. She's heard personally from employees afraid of not being able to support their families. One of the ones that just kind of broke my heart was uh, someone called into the chamber, said that uh, they normally have five days of, uh, you know, the nightly shows at the hotels. They've already been cut back to four, and he was really fearful that he was going to lose his job as things get worse. And I mean, when you hear that there's absolutely uh, no bookings in April, we're already 20,000 down in March. I mean, we're bracing for things to get worse. To help ease the blow of a downturn, the chamber has called on government leaders to postpone the minimum wage hike and roll back the business privilege tax. But so far, those pleas have been rejected by both the administration and the majority in the legislature. We need to talk about real solutions to help people keep their jobs. If anything, you know, consideration of rolling back on um, the GRT, at least for our tourism industry. She says if they won't listen to the chamber, then government leaders need to organize meetings where they can hear directly from the people. It's so easy to think of the chamber as this faceless organization that just represents big business, but reality is we represent those employees that are hurting. We represent small business. Government workers make up 11,000 um, of our employment sector. The private sector is almost 50,000 employees out there. So you, we really need to hear from the private sector and bring them to the table and let's talk about solutions. I mean, if what the chamber is proposing is not feasible, then what can we do to help? For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.